Luis Severino again, the hardest throwing starting pitcher in baseball this year, but he's also got a really good slider. He's learned that change up with some help from Pedro Martinez. Swung on and hit deep to right. Very deep to right. It's gone. Ahmed Rosario. It may be early, but it just got a little later for Luis Severino. Ahmed Rosario's fifth homer of the season, and the Mets take a 1-0 lead against the Yankees. Severino's third given up in his career. This one is laced on a broken bat into the right field corner, and Nimmo's going to go for two. Throw will not be in time, and the Mets have risen early at Yankee Stadium. Swing and miss. It's a beautifully executed pitch right there by Severino. Sprays this one into center field, and that's another run for the Mets. They're leading two to nothing. Single Jeff McNeil, fifth RBI of the season. Huge. Huge right there with two strikes off a prolific strikeout guy, and Luis Severino makes the mistake of leaving it up in the zone. And Jacob DeGrom, 20 consecutive starts, three runs or less. The record for the Mets is 24 by Doc Gooden. Not this time. Man. Swing it a miss. DeGrom has his second strikeout. Two men on and a 2 nothing Met lead. And a long fly ball to center field. Tracking back on it. Austin Jackson gives way to the right fielder. Brandon Nimmo. Well, well that was strike three. Flared behind second base, and it'll drop in front of Neil Walker. The runner will go to third base, and he did not get out of that inning cleanly. Toil is showing on Severino. Now a swing and a miss, and he's out. Walker, he did the same thing he did to Gardner. Up. And that's it for the Yankees in the second. Jacob deGrom is through the batting order, or eight of the nine guys anyway. Is it in the right field? Let's check in with Gary Streisky in the studio for an update. Gary. Ball four. Chopper, third base, play to second. To McNeil, and throw it away. The run will come in. Nope. Here's Aaron Hicks. A little irony. Flares one. Let's see if Stanton can make it. There'll be no throw. He's in, and the Yankees have tied it up. Aaron Hicks, two hits on the night, and it's now a tie game against DeGrom. Him earlier in the season, too. Jackson, line drive right field for a base hit. Has to be frustrating for... There he goes. Long fly ball, deep right field. Back goes Walker. It's gone. Jose Bautista just snapped out of his doldrums of the last few weeks, and the Mets are back on front by two runs, four to two. Jose Bautista did not miss that fastball, and the way he got to it was he laid off the slider. Mazzaracco swings through one and told him, all right, you're not going to ride any bulls anymore. We're going to make you a baseball player. Struck him out, six Ks. It's a vague stat. He just struck out. Greg. That wins can be very misleading. Strikeout number six. Let's throw in Aaron Nola as well. Having a great year in Philadelphia. A little squib, tough play, but DeGrom. Wow. What athleticism by DeGrom. That's the shortstop. What yeah. a play. See the hand or the, short or, or the elbow uh, tip, and if you do that, it's a big time advantage for a guy that has a devastating slider. Kind of whips through the zone. Um, and then after that, he can, uh, he's got a plus slider, great change up. And there you have it, folks. That's slider. Wow. 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 O2. Long fly ball, deep left there field. Is. There's no butt there. 
It's gone. Todd Frazier, the ex-Yankee, extends the lead, gets the run back. It's 5-3, to three, Mets over the Yanks. I like that a little bit more than the bunt. 0-2, oh, another 0-2 oh, count for the Mets, and they capitalize again. As his feet were in. We got back for the one game here. Swing and a miss. He Ten strikeouts. Strikeout number 11 to your 2018 Cy Young Award winner, no matter what Tim Kirchner says, <laughs> Jacob DeGrom. Long fly ball, right field. Walker looks up and it's gone. Brandon Nimmo, the fourth homer of the night for the New York Mets. A season's worth of frustration for the Mets being redeemed in the Bronx. Conforto now goes the other way, and that one, and Gardner will look up, and it's gone. Another home run for the Mets. Mets of Palooza. So that's five in the game, and that's the season high for the Mets. Who knew they'd come in here and not only out homer the Yankees, out homer them easily so far. Jackson off the end of the bat. That will finish off this inning. Two more runs for the Mets, two more homers for the Mets. Wow. 12. This, this that was an ugly at bat and a nasty at bat for Austin Romine. It's interesting. You have one of the best arms in the game, probably, and a lot of people would say the best arm. And Duhar hits one, and that is gone. A high arcing parabola home run, two run job, and suddenly we have a ball game yet again. Seven to five Mets. And this is what the New York Yankees love. We're wondering if we could put Mets in there. A bunt against the shift. Wow. If he would have made that play, it would have been some kind of play. Flared into center. Austin Jackson ends the threat. Because Severino, too many question marks right now. Through the hole. Conforto will hold at second. Mets at first and second. Quickly to second, and out. Safe on the transfer, out on the transfer. Meanwhile, Conforto dashes home. All right, here he goes again. Nice pickup on a bad hop, a little bit of a bad hop. We end the inning. So we'll go to the bottom of the ninth. But here, a little sunlight. It's over, it's all over. The Mets have beaten the Yankees on Monday Night Baseball. At Yankee Stadium for Jacob DeGrom. Eight to five, and Jacob DeGrom is a 500 pitcher once again. <laughs> it's been a joy to be with Eduardo Perez and Tim Kirchner. Thank you, gentlemen. It was great fun, Keith. Thank you. After 24 years and then some, great job.